What's up everyone, Chris at Dentalist Touch, back again with another vlog, inside the dip vlog. So we have a pretty easy day. Um, we're still dealing with the hail, or trying to facilitate the repairs uh, for all the hail damage cars that happened down in like the Washington DC area. Um, so I'm just gonna stop by Patriot Auto Detailing. He has a quick retail estimate. Hopefully we uh, get the job. And then I'm gonna bring you guys along uh, to check out the new shop. I know I haven't updated you guys on how the shop is coming along. We had a little delay and uh, we're over that port part right now and it's on to the construction. So I'm gonna bring you guys along as I check on the building. We'll probably be doing this weekly uh, and we'll show you guys the process. So let's get into Patriot and see what he has. So I'm gonna try my best to grab the tools that I need. You guys can see it's not a hard dent or dense. Um, so I'm just gonna try to grab what I need and not have to take out my entire toolbox here. And I think that's what I do. I always try to find the easiest way out and sometimes it comes back to bite me, but <laughs> you know how it is. It, it'd probably take me 40 seconds to take this thing out. I'm gonna try it the hard way. I'm gonna be stubborn try to grab tools and uh, and not take this big big cart out but this is pretty much how I run with now I'll elaborate more on another vlog but so far it's been working especially when we have hail and just having all of my tools in one place I, I, I truly enjoy that right there so I think that's a benefit so I try to grab my tools and let's get started with these dead issue is that I don't have the angle so I think the other tool I bought may have you know the decent angle to grab it so these two tools might get the job done here's the second one so I may have spoke too soon I may have to go out and get something that has a, a longer radius possibly about two feet three feet, I mean I'm sorry two or three inches so let's see doesn't quite get to the center of the dent, so need to go get two uh, more tools. So we got one more stop. We're gonna do an estimate on a sprinter van. Uh, and I'll, I'll walk you guys through that process. We do charge a lot more uh, just because we have to use, rent a scissor lift and all that good stuff to repair. But I'll walk you through this entire process, give you kind of the price quote on this one, um, and show you guys a little bit more of the details that I normally don't show. So stay tuned guys. Oh, this ought to be fun. So, we are working on one of those overland vehicles. I think that's what they call it. But uh, as I try to get into like forerunner off roading, I stumbled across one of these vehicles. If you guys can see that. Uh, I don't know what he uses it for, but 
we got to do a hail estimate on this sprinter van here so i need a ladder <laughs> all right give you some insight on this van so we will be charging uh for a scissor lift uh, which is 750 dollars for rental for two days uh, we will be charging to take out the solar panels the ac unit so that we can see all the damage that is on the uh, roof area obviously the hood is straightforward just connected. like any other car uh, so there's not an issue there the only thing in question is that there's nothing we can take apart in the inside i think the best decision is to not mess with anything on the inside of that vehicle uh, because it's warranty from the manufacturer that uh, outfitted this vehicle uh, my opinion so we're gonna try not to disconnect the solar panels so we'll probably create a brace or a bracket so that it kind of elevates up and then we can actually put our lights in between and repair it um, and you may not understand what I'm saying so you may have to wait around for the next vlog so you can see how we're gonna actually fix these um, other than that, pretty straightforward. Once we get that scissor lift and all that good stuff, we'll probably actually have to order a Carbon Tech uh, hail rod because you can get like eight feet out with no flex. So we don't have one of those currently. Uh, so I'm just gonna have to order one. It is what it is for this job. As far as pricing, us doing the PDR, the scissor lift, and uh, I think I'm missing one thing. But anyway, just us doing the scissor lift, renting the scissor lift, uh, fixing the hood, going throughout the entire car I think it comes up to like 5100 now I'm allocating roughly three days to get this fixed when you're working around a scissor lift and all that stuff it just takes time be patient all of that good stuff so so we'll see how it works stay tuned to vlogs we're still got to go through the insurance company process the insurance company that they're dealing with is not a popular one and it's the one that I'm familiar with uh, probably because it's uh, more of a RV um, and they probably have special insurance for that. So I don't know how they're going to handle it. Uh, but um, the customer is very excited that, you know, PDR can fix it. So I'm looking forward to actually repairing it. So stay tuned, guys. Now on to the shop. I know you guys are waiting to see how that's coming along. So uh, let's get to it. Oh, yeah. Thank you. 